Marupeng, the cradle of humankind, a world heritage site rich in history and paleoanthropology. It holds about 40% evidence of human origins. In 2010, the world's attention was turned to Marupeng when the remains of the earliest human ancestor, Australopithecus sediba, was revealed to the world. The Cradle of Humankind is truly one of the most extraordinary and remarkable areas on the planet. From this region comes something like a third to 40% of the entire evidence of human origins on this planet. That's not just the origins of South Africans, not just the origins of Africans, the origins of all of us. And that evidence is from right here. Nestled in the heart of Gauteng, just an hour's drive from Johannesburg, the cradle of humankind is an awesome place to get away from the hustle and bustle of Johannesburg and connect with your roots. September is also Heritage Month, making it a fitting launch venue for Tourism Month. You know, one of the most important things uh, that we have to accomplish is not making the world aware of its common African heritage. It's in fact remarkably aware of its common a African heritage. We need to ingrain that in Africans and in South Africans. They need to visit the birthplace of humankind because they need to understand that every critical event that has happened in the story of our adventure on this continent and this planet has come out of places like this and this is where the evidence is. It's a very special place to walk. Tourism Month is an initiative to encourage all South Africans to travel their own country and get a better understanding of the affordable and exciting attractions in their own backyard. Tourism Month in our country, September month, is for the whole of the country. And this year the celebrations will be in the Eastern Cape and we rotate it between all the different provinces. And we understand that there's a historical pattern in South Africa, that it is basically the Western Cape, Gauteng, KwaZulu-Natal, and maybe a little bit Mpumalanga when it comes to tourism. But we have a plan and uh, a program to assist the other provinces to bring to the market uh, their new products, to assist them to develop new products. And there are wonderful new products in all our provinces. And let me just use one example. You know, the Northern Cape is a fantastic example of a province that sat down and said, you know, in the Northern Cape, the traditional things won't work. So they decided on adventure tourism as their niche market. And they are taking international and national events to the Northern Cape and doing well. So we are investing a lot of money in that and it will help the six uh, lesser visited provinces. Tourism is one of the fastest growing sectors in South Africa. It contributes 9% to gross domestic product. The strong numbers are fueled by tourists from the rest of the continent. It is extremely delightful for me. Um, first and foremost, tourism has started to gain prominence across all countries, most countries on the African continent. And as the biggest economy in sub-Saharan Africa, and Nigeria, the second biggest economy in sub-Saharan Africa, it is important for us to synergize to transfer the benefits of this sector to our various countries and also to be the launch pad to promote the sector on the African continent. And once we, as the two uh, economic superpowers on the sub-Saharan continent, do this, it would be easy for us to attract the buy-in of the other countries on the continent. South Africa and Nigeria have teamed up to promote the importance of African tourism. We must always look at new opportunities and Africa is a great new market for us. Um, our growth from the African market is quite spectacular. 70% of all our international tourists come from the African market. But we must also understand that tourism is a two-way street. Uh, it should never be only one country benefiting from it. It must be mutually beneficial. And therefore, the Nigerian market is key to us. In the first quarter of this year, we grew by 28% from that market. That's impressive in any language. So we want to even improve on that. And that's why we're investing money and time and energy into that. But we would also like to encourage South Africans to visit Africa, 
the continent and its attractions, and of course, Nigeria and many other African countries. The two-way African tourism that is shared here today will no doubt benefit a place like Marupeng, a unique attraction that makes all visitors feel at home.